Hi there, welcome, welcome to Home Keepers. As I always say, it's so good to be with you and I thank you for tuning in and for anybody who's new out there, this is the first time you've seen the program, come right on in, you are so welcome. And been looking forward to this for a long time because so many of you have requested a Home Keepers cookbook. And so we kind of have in mind, as, as I was looking through all of the cookbooks in my office, a lot of them had 50 recipes, 70. They weren't quite as big as sometimes you think. And so we made a small cookbook with 100 recipes, and we're going to be talking about it today. And I hope this begins a series of recipes. Very, very handy, small. You can kind of lay it out on the uh, counter, and it's right there in front of you. And we're going to fix three of the recipes in this book today, and my some of my favorite people in the world are here, Stephanie and Wanda, and we're going to fix these for you, and some really great recipes have been chosen. Stephanie's going to fix her Aunt Ruth's scalloped potatoes, and Wanda's going to fix uh, Herb's bean dip, and also I'm going to fix you my Arthelene healthy cookies. And so you're going to watch us do all of these through the program. I hope that you will be really interested and impressed, you know, with what we do, and that you will order the cookbook. Um, so thankful that we can bring it to you and, and thankful for your interest in it. So just stay with us because uh, I think you're going to find this highly entertaining. So now I'm going to go to the kitchen and Stephanie and Wanda are going to make Stephanie's Aunt Ruth's scalloped potatoes. Take a look. So Aunt Ruth's cheesy potatoes. And you say, well, who's Aunt Ruth? Well, let me tell you, my husband has relatives that live in Ohio, okay? okay. He took me up there. It was winter. It mm. was frigid cold. I mean, like, your Nothing ears like were going to fall off cold. Yeah, okay? like below zero. So, so cold. <laughs> so then we go, and Aunt Ruth, his aunt, we come in, and she has this lovely dinner made. And I think it was a roast or something, but this was what I remembered, the cheesy potatoes. Mm, so good. Comfort food. Like, just stick to your ribs. So good. And, and the hospitality, I'll never forget it. Yeah. So that's why Aunt Ruth's Cheesy Potatoes made it into the amazing um, Home Keepers cookbook. Absolutely. And let's decide which camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> because it was a memory for me. So you're going to yeah. spray a 13 by 9 inch pan right. for me. Excuse me for I have my bag. a bag of frozen hash browns, which you can thaw. It won't take as long to cook if you thaw them. I have a stick of butter melted that I'm just pouring right over there. This is so simple, you guys, and it, but it's so delicious. It's wonderful. Nice and creamy oh, and cheesy. So good. A half a pint of sour cream. This is not for the Weight Watchers, folks, okay? I'm just saying. This is for the people who are having a day, and you come home, and you're like, I need something, okay? This is it. This is it right here. So that's onion, the half an onion chopped. We have salt. Which, you know, if I was doing this, I would not add an onion. Okay, and that's... Or so little, tiny, yeah, tiny little bit. And that's what's bit, so but, good. Yeah. You can chop that onion up so small. Yeah, you And don't just know. get the taste, but yeah. not like the chunks. So yeah. that's good. So that yeah. was salt. You're supposed to put pepper in it. But Guess what? We don't have any pepper. I don't have any pepper, so I'm not putting pepper in it. But have, you can pepper at the table. <laughs> you can have pepper at the table. <laughs> and cream of chicken condensed soup. I'm going to put that in. And then we're going to put um, 10 ounces of cheddar cheese. I mean, come on. Come on. It can't get what any better than this. What more could you ask for? Seriously. And then the cheese. So I have a sprayed pan. I'm going to mix this all up. I mean, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. And it was the hospitality. I know you are the same as me. When mm. somebody comes over and they have a meal or they stay with me or something, I yeah. want them to leave and I want them to have a memory from it. It is absolutely I want true. them to remember the meal, but yeah. most importantly, I want them to remember the fellowship. Yeah. And that's exactly what Aunt Ruth did for us. She taught me how to make a lasagna that was out of this world, and it's easy. Do like you have not, the recipe? I do. It's uh, not one of those. Uh, next cookbook, right? Next cookbook. It's not one of those, um, you know, spend four hours in the kitchen and have a lasagna. It's like super simple, and it's with 
um, cottage cheese instead of ricotta cheese, which yep. I don't like cottage cheese, like just to eat it, but yeah. I promise you, you don't know the difference. And I made it for no. my parents and my mom couldn't tell. She, she couldn't tell? She hates cottage cheese. I grew up with that because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I hate to say, I hate to admit that when we went to the little, <laughs> little tiny grocery store, mm -hmm. If there was ice cream in the freezer, I mean, we were lucky. Mm -hmm. So I remember ice cream in the freezer. I remember turkeys uh, around the holiday season when the turkeys would be. But we didn't have box cake mixes. And I hate to admit that. I'm really getting old. No, don't admit yeah. that. Just know but that. But it's the truth. Just know that Brooke didn't know that you could make a cake from scratch. Brookie, she you, only you made didn't? It. <laughs> That's so funny. She'll never live that down. I'm sorry uh, when you work with us. If you have something like that happen, you never live it down. Ever, nope. ever, ever. Nope, For nope. 25 years, I will be talking about Brooke. She has never said it. Yeah, she has never <laughs> said it. She has learned her lesson. She will not, she'll, she'll not share that information anymore. Nope. She'll not share that information anymore. So, okay, so I have it all mixed up. <laughs> You're getting there. I mean, it's just cheesy, yummy All yummy goodness. goodness. And yeah. you put it in your sprayed 13 by 9 pan. And you're going to bake it almost an hour. It. Thank you so much. Yep. I feel All bad. I haven't done anything. You have spray looked the pan. beautiful. <laughs> and that was your job, too. That's Talk my job. and look beautiful. All right. And you did a great job. You missed some cheese right there. Let's not miss Let's the not cheese. Let's not miss the cheese. We want it that's all yummy goodness. The yummy goodness. There okay. You go. So you, you'll bake this at 375 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour out of our fancy dancy homekeepers cookbook. And if you look real close, I have the same outfit on today on purpose because I finally had a mental clarity for a moment. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna taste it real quick. Oh, I didn't get a fish okay. out. Do you wanna bring it over? We'll just, we can just have a fork. I'll give you one. Yep. Here you go, my dear. Cause I, I you don't wanna taste it, right? No, cause I'm afraid I won't stop eating it. I do. Be careful, okay. it's really hot. It's super hot. It's good television. <laughs> and so yummy. You will not taste anything better. I promise you. Yeah. And look how big the, the you, this could serve many. Yeah. So it's a great meal for a family. Absolutely. And if you want to. You can always add a little bit of more cheese on the top. Oh, oh, make it bubbly. To goodness. make it so bubbly, Come on. yummy, good, and attractive. Even Come more attractive on. than it already is. It's delicious. So that's Aunt Ruth's cheesy potatoes. And it's here in our cookbook, in the Homekeeper's Cookbook. But when wait, you there's more. It. No, I'm just kidding. There's not. <laughs> it's just the good butter. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you soon. So many of you have asked for a Homekeeper's Cookbook, and it's with great joy we can tell you there is one now available. This book contains 100 recipes, featuring everything from appetizers to desserts. It's a small book that will lay flat on your countertop, making it easy to follow the recipe. We want you to have this cookbook, not only for the recipes, but as a constant reminder of a ministry that features the importance of the home, designed by God Himself as the foundation for any successful society. The cost of the Homekeeper's Cookbook is $20. For credit card orders, you may call 1-800-229-0059 or write to Homekeepers at Post Office Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida 33758. That number again, 1-800-229-0059 or write to Homekeepers at P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida 33758. We hope you will order your copy today. I have to admit, those girls are a little crazy, but I do love them, and, and I love this crew, some of the best people in the world. And while that spot was running about the book, I confess I tasted those potatoes. Trust me, you want that recipe. It is just delicious. And uh, now, kind of, Wanda's going to take over, and she's going to make something called Herb's Bean Dip. And, you know, beans are very good for you, great source of uh, protein with no fat in it. And uh, this has every kind of bean in it you can imagine. So she's going to put that together. I think you'll enjoy watching the girls do this again. And I think I can guarantee you that it tastes very good. Take a look. So let's talk about hospitality because yes. that's so much fun. You want to have people over and you're like, I just can't because it's too expensive. It's too hard. This would be the perfect 
Absolutely. Thing to have at it. You don't have to have dinner. You don't have to have lunch. You could have some appetizers, some. I love appetizers. Some dips, some chips, some water, some lemonade, and you can fellowship. Yep. So this is Herb's Bean Dip. Doesn't that sound delicious? It is. Okay, so it is really, really good. So let's share. Okay, so yep. you're cutting up a green onion or scallion, yeah. right? Really tiny. Yeah. Right. You like that. And then so we I have do. all of these are drained except for the petite diced tomatoes. Okay. Yep. So we have a can of corn. Absolutely. And you're not going to get easier than this because there's not even any cooking involved. You're opening cans and you're pouring it in a bowl. We have dark red kidney beans. One can drained. My favorite, black beans, also mm -hmm. drained. And it's a good idea to rinse black beans too sometimes. Yeah. And then black eyed peas. Let me start. One can drained. Let me get rid of my mess here. She's going to I'm going to add in the green onion. onion that I just diced. Mm -hmm. I can get that for you, Steph. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so you're supposed to have a can of um, petite diced tomatoes with chilies and a separate can of chilies. Well, we don't have the separate can of chilies, but there's plenty of chilies in here, so we'll be fine. Yeah. Well, Arthling doesn't like anything too spicy, she like so she spicy. opts out right. on some of that stuff, so we get it. I like the spice. Her, not so much. Okay, so we have a can of petite diced tomatoes with yep, green chilies. Just add it right in there. And that we didn't drain because. No, we need the juice. Yeah. And you know what? If you let this sit for hours in your refrigerator and you let all yeah, that these just flavors is come wonderful. together. It's really, really good. Okay, so this is a quarter cup of virgin olive oil. We're going to add that in we there. We have a half a cup of red wine vinegar. vinegar. I got excited. Yum, yum. Vinegar. Vinegar that's going to add that, <laughs> that like tang. That yes, zest that, that you love. really need to have. Now, and then that's a lot of sugar. That's, that's well, a half a cup of this sugar. This is a half cup of sugar, but I would tell you that I would try to use maybe coconut sugar uh, the, the, or stevia, something that's sure. better for you. Sure. But we're just, this is what we have. So we use what we have in the kitchen, don't we, okay. ladies? That's what we that's do. That's what we do. That's, that's how we a do. lot of recipes come to fruition. Yep. A mom will go, or a wife, oh. or someone will go into the oh, wow. kitchen. I'm too short to get that. And they'll be like, what do we have? Let's put it all together and make yeah. something. Can I get something out of the cabinet? I was going to get a little bit of salt because we forgot okay. the salt. Let me get the salt. <laughs> like just what we do at home, right, ladies? <laughs> we forgot the salt. I so heard we just you need say, about. <laughs> I heard she's right there. I heard her say, I'm too short to get that. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe uh, so about a half a teaspoon to a t to a teaspoon. We'll That's probably. It. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And just stir that in. Yep. And that'll be yummy. Now listen. Let this sit in your refrigerator yes. and let these flavors all come together. It'll marry, and it just be like an hour or two before you really want to serve it. Yes. And then my boss got these, but you can serve them. <laughs> I blame her. No, I'm just kidding. We blame Arthley for, for everything. everything. She's not here right now, so, <laughs> so we, we can. can. The next segment, she'll be on here. We'll be so sweet. No. <laughs> and then she's going to rat on us. Yeah. But if you have the Tostitos, the little tiny cups, like it's the much scoops. easier to dip yes, in. Yes. There, you try now, it. Now, you know what else you could do? If you wanted something just a little more creamier, you could take the black beans and puree them. Oh, yeah, you could. And put that in, and it would just make a, like a more uh, creamier dip. Is that so good? It's so good. Okay, here, let me break this in half so I look like a lady and not like. No, like I, I just did my whole do. mouth. I just put it in my whole mouth. It's so good. Mm. Yeah. I would, like, I would like a little more of that green chili spice, but I'm a spicy girl, so there you I go. I love spice. I do too. Yeah. Okay, one more dip. And then we're going to tell you oh, oh, where is this recipe from, Wanda? <laughs> this recipe <laughs> is from the Home Keepers Cookbook. Yep. And it's so exciting. 100, I think. 100 recipes? There are 100 recipes. 100 recipes in here, okay, that we've done on Homekeepers mm -hmm. that have, were like all time favorites. Right. And you're going to be able to get this. Right. Okay. And the, all the information is going to come up on the screen after this, and you're mm -hmm. going to be able to see how to get this and have this at home. These would make great Christmas presents. That's Absolutely. That's what I'm going to do. Me too. I'm on the cover, so I want to give it to everybody. No. <laughs> There you go. So the information will come up on the screen. You can get this. You want it. I promise everything is delicious. And we thank you. And we'll see Absolutely. you next time. So many of you have asked for a Homekeeper's Cookbook. And it's with great joy we can tell you there is one now available. This book contains 100 recipes featuring everything from appetizers to desserts. It's a small book that will lay flat on your countertop, making it easy to follow the recipe. 
we want you to have this cookbook, not only for the recipes, but as a constant reminder of a ministry that features the importance of the home, designed by God himself as the foundation for any successful society. The cost of the Homekeeper's Cookbook is $20. For credit card orders, you may call 1-800-229-0059 or write to Homekeepers at Post Office Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida 33758. That number again, 1-800-229-0059 or write to Homekeepers at P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida 33758. We hope you will order your copy today. Well, I want you to know that I have tasted herbs. Bean dip, thing, bean yeah. Dip, yep. And Aunt uh, Ruth's. Ruth. Delicious, I promise you. Now, this recipe, don't judge me, it has evolved over probably 25 years, and I like it. I know that technically it's probably not going to get in anybody's, you know, culinary school, but just follow me. Okay, I've already put together about. Uh, little less than a half a cup of butter and just a third a cup of brown sugar and that's it. Now if you'll drop a w egg in there. Yep. Just drop, no. <laughs> With a <the> shell. <laughs> I could have fun yeah. if this was not so that's necessary right. to be good. Yeah. It wasn't necessary. Okay, we could now have keep a lot going. Of I just want the egg white in this. Yes ma'am. And don't ask me why. A lot, years ago I decided, you know, it's got a few less calories in it. So, okay. So, so so far we've got butter, brown sugar, and eggs. And the egg That's white. That's good. Yeah, okay. And egg white. Okay. Now just dump in the. Um, what do you want? Oatmeal. Okay. Oh. That's uh, two cups. And I get the. I don't get the <laughs> fast stuff. Oh. <laughs> Woo! I don't get the quick stuff. You want? But, well, <laughs> let's be honest here. Our turn it down to. There it's, it's it's kind of broken a the little bit. The mixer's broken a little mm -hmm. bit. So I'll be careful. I'm talking more than I'm paying attention. Yes. That was two cups. Yes, of yep. oats. Of oatmeal, and it, it's not the quick Half kind of a cup is out on the counter. No. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, sweep off your counter and put yeah. Okay. Okay, now this is a half a cup of uh, flour. We're her. Regular flour trust. or whole wheat flour? Regular, or I've used whole wheat. We're just her trusty assistant. Yeah. This. Now what do you want? Uh, I think this bowl. Not is, that one, Wanda. Not yet. That's just in case I need a little extra. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now let's put in the... Uh, you might, because the oatmeal on it. <laughs> yeah. What's uh, this? That's... Uh, Testing your memory. Yeah, that's your... Uh, Whatever. Baking powder. Here we go. Uh, baking soda. Soda, both. And salt. Yes, all, right. all three all three in one. Mm -hmm. All of the ingredients are in the fabulous uh -huh. homekeeper's you want cookbook. Vanilla? Yes. Yeah, that vanilla should have gone in with the eggs. Oh, no. Yeah. It's okay. Start over. It's all right. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. That was a table. Up. Now this is this is where I just have to feel if it's right or not. Because we're putting in so much stuff, I want to make sure it's got enough glue to hold it. Because when I used to do it, you'd get it out of the pan and it'd it would be fall all over apart. The place. So yeah. let's mm -hmm. put another egg white in there. Certainly. That's the glue. I think the. Uh, we would have been better off with a little bit of a smaller bowl. Okay. There you go. I think that's going to be okay because you want it to uh, be wet. Why not give me a couple of tablespoons of the flour? <laughs> just, just, just a little bit. She's like the mad scientist. With there these we go. Cookies. Well, you know, Dr. Norton was in here one day, and uh, he said, you really ought to sell those things. I said, you can't, they're too expensive. I can't afford to make these cookies, okay? okay. <laughs> a whole bag of uh, oh, dark da, 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 da. A whole bag. I like okay. that. That makes me happy right yeah. there. That's all we need. Oh, okay. oh. I'm just going to slow oh. down. Okay. <laughs> now slow down? We <laughs> measured these at half a cup, but actually, I just put them in by hand. Pecans or walnuts, if you like it. Sunflower seeds, oh, sliced okay. pecans, and uh, sunflower. What kind of seeds are those? No, the, the green ones are sunflower. What kind of seeds pumpkin. are those? Pumpkin. No, the green ones are pumpkin. The green ones are oh, pumpkin. Oh, you're right. And those yes. are, yeah. Of course I'm right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you Do you want this spread? Yeah. So listen, yes. we went from the very cheesy potatoes comfort food, so if you have that, <laughs> 
and then you want a little dessert, <laughs> you could have a healthy cookie, and, and you, you, you're balancing things out. Yes, and you have these, and there's no guilt. No guilt. Now, so we, we are about the first ones here in the morning, right? We are, yes. And she boils eggs, and I bring two of these and have them with my tea. I have to have protein in the morning I to fill always, me up. I always, always have these in my house. And my grandsons love them. My son-in-law love them. I mean, Meredith, they're gorgeous. Look at them. Meredith yeah, doesn't so like good. the seeds in them. So oh, sometimes, I like everything that's in yeah. there. So good. Now, see, you can see if we hadn't put that last egg in there, that wouldn't have held. Well, the, the other thing, when you put pecans in the pumpkin seeds and mm -hmm. the other seeds, it, it just makes it go, like, okay. fall apart. So if you and add the other egg, it works. Because sticky, you need a little uh, water for this. And I'll show you a couple. But if you want to taste one, sure, help yourself. Yeah. Wanda? Of course. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Because I didn't just eat one right before we started. <laughs> They're good for breakfast. You can give me a cup of coffee with this. <laughs> I know. They're really, really good. And I'm really not good. eating only one. I can tell you that. And all your dreams come true. All my dreams my, come true. So good. Come so anyway, true. and this is in the cookbook. It's called Arthelene's Healthy Cookies. Mm. And so much more. That's only three recipes out of here. So you're going to find out how to get this. It's coming up. And then I want these girls to join me. We're just going to have a little bit of talk before we have to say goodbye. So stay right there. Don't mm. go anywhere. Right? Right. 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 Okay. So many of you have asked for a homekeeper's cookbook. And it's with great joy we can tell you there is one now available. This book contains 100 recipes featuring everything from appetizers to desserts. It's a small book that will lay flat on your countertop, making it easy to follow the recipe. We want you to have this cookbook, not only for the recipes, but as a constant reminder of a ministry that features the importance of the home, designed by God Himself as the foundation for any successful society. The cost of the Homekeeper's Cookbook is $20. For credit card orders, you may call 1-800-229-0059 or write to Homekeepers at Post Office Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida 33758. That number again, 1-800-229-0059 or write to Homekeepers at P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida 33758. We hope you will order your copy today. I was just trying to calculate how many years the three of us have worked together. Um, I've, I've been with the network over 40 years, uh, so I don't count that much. But how long have you been my assistant? Uh, I think 20 for sure, but maybe 21. Mm -hmm. 18. But see, that's a long time. And honestly, I appreciate the more every day. And I was thinking um, before we tell you goodbye, to look into the scripture and see the significance, you know, of the table of food. Jesus used it a lot. Um, I remember he was going to the house of Zacchaeus, and I'm sure they mm -hmm. served him something there. Um, but I was also thinking of something a little bit more contemporary, and that was uh, Maria Shriver. She's a mm. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and uh, had four or five children, and she would go with kind of a list that going to talk about. I wish I had been that smart when my mm. kids were growing up because the table's the perfect place to really get to know each other, draw yes. out there. Yep. Well, and you know what I've always heard is for parents to not ask yes or no questions. Mm -hmm. You ask open-ended questions that there has to be a longer response mm -hmm. than yes or no. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. And I had a, a pastor on here one day that I think he said every Thursday, Thursday required the kids to bring something to the table uh, that they learned in the scripture or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be so used better than. Mm -hmm. So I want to throw that out there. I know we have a lot of grandparents watching and we're all grandmas. Mm -hmm. So your kids aren't there anymore, but pass it on to your, your kids and say, make, make the table something special. Yes. And who was it we had on one time said, no arguing at the table? One, Somebody very smart. No. One of the mothers. <laughs> yeah, I that, that, was, I mean, that was a ground rule. Mm -hmm. But what I want yeah. to talk about is first uh, time we see Jesus with a miracle. 
it was a festive thing. He turned water into wine, and right. you know there was probably a huge banquet there. Yep. And then we see him feeding the 5,000. Yep. I hope they have video of this in heaven. I'm sure oh, they Oh, I think we're going to get there, and I there's going we'll to be lots of yeah. things that Jesus saved us from mm -hmm. and videos of, of stuff like that, I think so. And mm -hmm. he said, you do this, and it has something to do with food, mm -hmm. yep. in remembrance, remembrance of me. I hope everybody out there is getting how how important this is. Yes. Yeah. And what a way to to give it to your family. Mm -hmm. Buy these for gifts, mm -hmm. and then get mm -hmm. put a little note in there about mm -hmm. you know get your family around the table and enjoy these recipes yeah. and think of me or mm -hmm. something you know something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of people that, and it's understandable uh, they get our name mixed up. They call us housekeeping mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's not that. <laughs> Paul wrote uh, in the New Testament that women to be keepers at home. Right. I think that homekeeping is the greatest, best thing we do. You can do other things as we all do. Mm -hmm. Right. But um, now you you were a stay-at-home mom too. Your kids were they were way up mm -hmm. teens, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you how did you do it? How'd you plan your meals and? Oh, I plan my meals. She's very organized. Long before our, I, I would go to the grocery store, I knew exactly what I was going to have and, and how much I needed to buy. And You were um, doing meal planning way before way, it was a thing. <laughs> and, you know, had I, had I known that, uh, what's this, um, I forgot the comedian's name, his wife did a cookbook on how she inserted vegetables and blended them mm -hmm. into the food. I did that long before because oh. I couldn't get my kids to eat oh. vegetables. She was first. And I'm like on, I'm thinking, man, why didn't I think of that? Or, you know, I just, it was just by rote. You, you just did what you had to do to get mm -hmm. them to eat. But Well, also, uh, Wanda is very organized. I am so blessed to have her uh, in my office. Now, but you're a great meal planner. You've, t you've told mm -hmm. through the years mm -hmm. how she freezes things mm -hmm. ahead. Yeah, when Alexis was home, I would do monthly meal plans. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I could shop for <clears throat> most of the month, have everything taken care of. We knew exactly, I didn't mm -hmm. get home at five o'clock and go, okay, what am I, I making that. tonight? I right. knew exactly, and that makes your life so much, it's it about does. organization, about being detail oriented mm -hmm. and just planning, that's yeah. all. Yeah, <clears throat> and I, I'd like to, and this is just last minute or so, I'd like to remind you um, the opportunity sitting around the table. Just think ahead, think ahead of time. And then to think that the last thing before Jesus went to the cross was dealing with food. And we still do it in our churches regularly. Yeah. As often as you do this in remembrance of me, and it was the bread and it was the wine. I hope maybe somehow we've just kind of shown you that it's so significant. It's far more than buying groceries and putting it together far more. Think about that. And please always remember, always, there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you would like a copy of today's recipe, you may receive it by contacting us through social media as listed on the screen. When requesting a copy through the mail, be sure to include a self-addressed stamped envelope. Thank you, and please know we always appreciate hearing from our viewers.